We are ready now to unveil the four teams who will compete for the national championship in the first college football playoff. So let's the inaugural year of the college football playoffs in the 2014 season was an astronomical moment for the sports industrial complex. Not only did the stage get brighter for the young budding athletes, it became an extra opportunity for top-notch programs to be in the headlines for potential recruits the following year. And it also gave a chance for the unsuspecting underdog to pull off the impossible. The fans itching to see two teams play each other that either never played before or haven't in a very long time. The college football playoff tournament was widely accepted as a positive thing. The Ohio State Buckeyes will forever be known as the very first team to ever win the Division I College Football Playoff Championship versus the Oregon Ducks. But the unfortunate part about this is that Oregon, or any other team, never had a shot to win. While I have gone deep into the numerical sorcery of professional sports, if you held out hope for top-level collegiate sports being pure and not scripted, but it is just as meticulously curated and planned. Hello, and welcome to Sports Vaults, presented by Data Productions, uncovering the untold, lost, and forgotten files of the sports world. The string pullers also love synchronizing tragedies within these sports rituals before and after the event, which I will reveal today. But to see the method behind the madness, you must understand the spiritual alphanumerical system known as gematria. Gematria is a numerological system by which Hebrew letters correspond to numbers. But we will be utilizing the English alphabet for our decoding today. So, in simple terms, ABC equals 123. This system, developed by practitioners of Kabbalah, Jewish mysticism, derived from Greek influence and became a tool for interpreting biblical texts. One can then calculate the numerical value of a word by adding together the values of each letter in it. In the realm of biblical interpretation, commentators based an argument on numerological equivalence of words. If a word's numerical value equals that of another word, a commentator might draw a connection between these two words and the verses in which they appear and use this to prove a larger conceptual conclusion. Gematria is essential to Kabbalah, the Jewish mystical tradition. The very basis of the Kabbalistic cosmological system rests on the beliefs that God created the universe through letters, numbers, and words. Indeed, the many names of God and their permutations in Kabbalah have numerical values that are believed to contain potent power. And for numerology, it is a study of numbers in your life. You can uncover information about the world and also each individual person by using numerology. Numerology is seen as a universal language of numbers. So when you add gematria and numerology together, you have a powerful combination of occult knowledge to work with while breaking down games. There are many different ciphers one can use, but the top four we will be using are the English ordinal, ABC equals one, two, three, its reverse, where Z equals one and A equals 26. Then we have the pure English reduction ciphers, or otherwise called the Pythagorean cipher, which is A equals one all the way to I equals nine, then it resets at J equaling one, K equals two, and so on, and then it's reverse. So how I can make these calculations really quick and really easy is going to gematrianator.com. It has all the different ciphers you can use. It starts with the top four ciphers that we primarily will use on this page, but it can get even deeper with that with other ciphers. So go check this out once you want to do your own research. Thank you to Derek, the creator of the Gematrinator website. Go check out his YouTube channel, Gematrinator85. Or you can have the Gematria calculator on the app. That's from Zachary K. Hubbard. That will help you with your research as well. Shout out to Zachary K. Hubbard for waking me up to the scripting, not only in sports, but in regular day society. Check out his YouTube channels, Gematria Effect News and Gematria Effect Sports. This may be confusing at first, but this is a systematic code that was created thousands of years ago. And to put it bluntly, religion is a major part of our world. The elite ruling class 
have been using sport since the Roman times to cast spells and captivate the population. If you watch my Uncut Gems movie breakdown, I get into it a bit more, but do your own research and come to your own conclusions after doing your own research, because this is what I have done. The 2014-15 season marked a new age in college football. From a historical perspective, previous national champions in college football were first determined by polls and rankings in the early days. Then one single national title bowl game, but now national champions would be decided in a four team playoff tournament system. The first four teams to ever play in this new system were Alabama, Florida State, Oregon, and Ohio State. Oregon beat Florida State 59 to 20 in the Rose Bowl, while Ohio State upset Alabama 42 to 35 in the Sugar Bowl. Ohio State then went on to beat Oregon 42 to 20 in the title game, the 2015 National Championship. We will be focusing on Ohio State and uncovering their synchronicities in this video since they were the very first National Championship playoff winners. To start things off, you should notice that Ohio State scored 42 points in both their playoff games. That's not by accident. The number 42 is important for Ohio State because their first ever undisputed national championship via the AP polls was in 1942. Keyword, undisputed. But when digging even deeper in Ohio State's championship history, the very first national championship was actually in the 1933 season. They won the national championship via the Dunkel system, while Michigan and Princeton tied as national champions in the Park H. Davis system. Crazy enough, the Dunkel system equals 42 in the reduction cipher, like their first undisputed championship in 1942, and how they scored 42 points in both their playoff games en route to the first ever college football playoff national championship. Touchdown and Freemason equals 42 in reduction. If you know the history of football, Walter Camp, known as the father of American football, was a Freemason, a 33rd degree Scottish Rite Freemason to be exact. Moving to the number 33, which is a very important number for football in general, Camp's last name equals 33 in English ordinal, while Masonry, Secrecy, and Order all sum to 33 in full reduction gematria. But it gets even deeper than this. If you calculate the date from Ohio State's last game from their very first championship on November 25th, 1933, to Ohio State's last game on January 12th, 2015, for their first college football playoff championship, it is 4,233 weeks apart, which can be easily separated into 42 and 33, which are the two years for Ohio State's first championships. If that doesn't blow your mind, I don't know what will. But we will continue on. The 2015 national title game was played at NRG Stadium in Arlington, Texas, which equals 62 in the reduction cipher. Like the total score of the game when you add Ohio State's 42 points and Oregon's 20 points together. Mason, which is short for Freemason, equals 62 in English ordinal. In regards to Oregon and their synchronicities for this game, they equal 74 in English ordinal, while college football equals 74 in reverse reduction. Their final record on the year was 13 and 2, much like how Oregon Ducks equals 132 in English ordinal. Ohio State winning the inaugural college football playoff championship was just the beginning. The Buckeyes' role in how they fit into the larger scheme of things within the scripted sports industrial complex continued on in the following year in 2016. We have several pedestrians struck by a vehicle. A chaotic scene at Ohio State University this morning. These scripts and rituals expand much further than just one specific sporting event. They even tie into the real world and mainstream news. Two days after beating their biggest rival, Michigan, 30-27, to Ohio State would be in the news not for triumph, but for tragedy. On the campus in Columbus, Ohio, the student body would be stricken with a supposed scary altercation. The morning of November 28, 2016, 
the day, leaving 33 days left in the year, news broke that there was a situation that happened on Ohio State's campus. People were hurt, and this event most definitely was planned for nefarious reasons to scare the public, but as I get into the decoding of the event, it was all synchronized with the sports world. At 9.52 a.m. Eastern Standard Time at Ohio State University's Watts Hall in Columbus, Ohio, a Somali refugee named Abdul Razak Ali Artan was the person who started the ruckus on campus, using a knife as his mode of attack. 13 people were hurt in the process, and Ali Artan passed away at the hands of Ohio State's first responders. In regards to the date of this event occurring, numerology, November 28, 2016, can be written as 11 28 16, which then can be added together to equal 55. The acronym OSU equals 55 in English ordinal. From the date of the 1942 championship, on November 28th to the date of this incident on November 28th, 2016 is 74 years. College football equals 74 in reverse reduction and weapon equals 74 in English ordinal as well. Watts and football equal 83 in English ordinal. The time span from their last game of the first championship on November 25th, 1933 to this incident on November 28, 2016 is 83 years. November has been an integral part of Ohio State's history. November equals 94 in ordinal, Ohio State University equals 94 in reduction, and Ohio State Buckeyes equals 94 in reverse reduction. That year, the college football playoff championship would be played on January 9th, which can be written as 1-9. The Ohio State University equals 109 in reduction, while college football playoffs equals 109 in reverse reduction. And for one more small decode on the incident interwoven with Ohio State, the perpetrator was driving a Honda Civic in which he drove on the courtyard and crashed. Honda equals 42 in English ordinal. There you have it. I broke down how top level college football is just as scripted as professional sports. With this breakdown today, you can clearly see Ohio State University's sports championships have been scripted from the beginning of college football itself and still intertwines with the modern day news headlines outside of the sports stadium. At this point, you should see how big this theatrical game is to keep the masses numbed and dumbed down to the real issues in our world. These decodes should help you realize how much of a distraction sports entertainment is. What's your take on this topic? Do you think Ohio State's championships were scripted? Let me know your thoughts below in the comments. Like and subscribe for more investigation content like this. This was Sports Vaults, presented by Data Productions. See you next time.